Hi Pisces, today I'm doing your monthly love reading for September 2019. This will be the main deck and this will be the clarifying deck. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started in you guys reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, ancestors. Please come in and give me the accurate, precise reading for the sign of Pisces. Please make this reading as clear as water so I can pick up on the energy for the sign of Pisces for their love life for September 2019. Thank you, Spirit. And guys, I'm always taking private readings. Um, all my booking information is in my bio. Just email me and I will respond back to you guys within a couple of hours. I don't usually take that long. Uh, and once you send me that email for you guys reading, I will give you the time frame of when your reading will be available for you. I do video readings only and I will just send you a private YouTube link with your uh, reading. And the readings are all $20 for five questions. So if you want to book a private reading with me, like I said, my information is in my bio. Okay, Pisces, let's just go ahead and get into this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Please give me an accurate, precise reading for the sign of Pisces for love for September 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So you have the two of wands here, the eight of swords, the ace of cups, the empress, they wanted to come out earlier when I was shuffling as well, the death card, let me just get one more here. Okay. So the card that flew out is the Wheel of Fortune. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands. So there is... Let me fix the camera so you guys can see the cards a little better. Okay. So... With the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I see some passion coming in to you guys. Uh, the reason why I'm picking up, and let me just keep this card because I feel like this will be significant to the reading. Okay. I'm trying to get it so you can see the cards. Okay. So the reason why with the Knight of Wands, I feel like this card is here. It's fast, passionate energy coming in. It could be a person as well that comes back and forth in and out of your life. Give me just a moment. I'm picking up on something here, uh, Pisces. This could be your energy as well, Pisces, towards your cross watchers. Cross watchers. So cross watchers, if this resonates, just take it how it fits. Okay, let me tell you what I'm picking up here, Pisces. I'm going to read it as if it's the cross watcher doing this to you. I pick up this person has the Knight of Wands, it wands energy. I feel like at one point in time, this person's energy was kind of like in and out, in and out, back and forth with you guys. They have always loved you, but, but they wasn't for sure if they wanted to stay and be in this relationship with you guys. And their energy was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I feel like they took a break or fell back. It took some time within their self with the two of wands energy to contemplate if this is something that they want. They was looking towards the future. They was looking like, hey, you see how this man is looking? Basically like a crystal ball that he's holding here with the two of wands. He's looking into the future and he's like, do I want this person in my life is this someone I want to go forward with be committed with and they were just stuck here with the two of wands and the two in the eight of swords like they were stuck thinking you know contemplating 
and from there they realize that you are someone they want to be with that they want to give this ace of cup to give their cup of love to they see you as the empress they see you as this passionate abundant nurturing person and you could be a man it's just just because it's the empress doesn't mean anything that's just the energy this is how they see you they see someone that's real loving real compassionate who they want to hand over their cup of love to like once they came from contemplating if this is something they wanted to be in or not they realize like i mean you know i do i love this person i'm in love with this person i can't be without them i see them as someone that i want to marry i see them so see them as someone i want to be my life partner or be in a long committed relationship with and they're going through a transformation period with the death card and the will of fortune something woke them up they had an awakening and they're moving towards the fortunate period your relationship is going through a cycle here I'm just trying to think because I just did a reading. I want to say it was Sagittarius or was it Virgo? It was one of one of those signs I just did and I, where their relationship was going through a transformation. I feel like there was Sagittarius. So you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. But they realize that, you know, you are the one they want to be with Pisces and their life is going, your relationship and their life is going through a transformation period and it's going to a fortunate period, something good and positive. I feel like the Knight of Wands energy is out and they're realizing that they want to give you their cup of love here. They want to offer you that. Let me just pull from this clarifying deck just to get a couple of more cards just to give me a little bit more insight please give me just a little bit more on this reading for the sign of pisces spirit please give me a couple more clarifying cards and make it clear as water thank you spirit okay you have the hierophant here and you have the nine of wands so it's some wands energy in here some of you guys could possibly be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, you have the King of Cups. You have the Six of Cups. So yeah, this person definitely wants to be in a committed relationship with you. They're feeling real passionate, real emotional, real loving towards you guys. They're coming forward with determination to make this work. Like, they realize you are what they want now, Pisces. They want to come forth in peace, harmony. Yeah. You have the sun card. They want commitment with you guys. They want happiness, union. And then the moon card came out. So maybe, you know, with the moon card, this person or either you had to go through a whole bunch of different cycles. Because, you know, we've been having a new moon and a full moon here lately. And through that time period with those different moon cycles and moon energy it woke them up it made them realize that this is the one you are the one from for them or you realize they are the one for you uh pisces and pisces that's your card anyway the moon card i mean you guys are kind of moody or whatever and you guys go through your different like the moon rules you guys you guys go through different cycles during the moon and you see, let me show you this card, how the wolves are just howling like they're going through transformation. It's like something is coming into them and going out. I feel like that's how your person is. You could be dealing with another Pisces as well, or that's how your energy is. You could be dealing with another water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's definitely a lot of fire here. for the sign of Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. And I told you guys that this person had took a step back or you guys had took a step back to realize if this relationship is for them. So maybe you guys are going through this separation period as of right now, but they will be back because you do have the Six of Cups. And that means reconciliation, new unions in a relationship as well. But I do see you guys getting back together and they are they giving you an offer. You have the honeymoon, enjoy the holiday bliss, 
holiday time, enjoy the bliss, I'm sorry, of holiday time together. So after the separation, you guys are going to go through that honeymoon space phase where you guys are just going to be with each other, join each other's company in time. Okay, you had a card that flew out. Let's take this one. True love. This is the romance. This is the romance of a lifetime. So yeah, this person, like I said, or either you realize this person is for you. You realize, yes, this is my soulmate. This is who I want to be with. I want to be in this committed relationship with this person. Marriage, move in, whatever commi commitment means to you guys. This is what this person wants from this relationship now. They're no longer stuck. They're no longer wondering. They know this is what they want. And I'm pulling from the Archangel deck just to get you guys a message here. Moon cycles. Didn't I tell you guys? <laughs> Moon cycles. Archangel handle. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestation and capitalize upon these cycles. I told you guys, this moon is ruling you guys' relationship. You could be dealing with another Pisces as well, but this is definitely your energy. And maybe your energy, Pisces, had this person feeling confused, like, this person's so damn moody. Do I want to be with this person? This person's energy goes hot and cold, up and down, because Pisces, you guys can be very moody. I'm a Cancer. We can be moody as well. We are water signs. So, I mean, maybe that was the reason why this person maybe pulled back and realized, you know, if pull back to realize that they want to be with you guys they probably pulled back because it was so much up and down and moodiness in the relationship and so many moon cycles here was affecting it by your energy but the moon cycle as well helped make the relationship get back on track so i'm gonna name this reading pisces moon cycles love affected by moon cycles <laughs> All right, Pisces, I hope this resonates with you guys because this is actually a very good reading. Yeah, very good reading. If this resonates, don't, don't hesitate. I'm sorry to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be blessed.